What's crack a -lack? It's your boy, Bro Schmo, just in case you did not know. So we're back again, once again, doing a team-specific mock draft. And this time, we're looking at the Chicago Bears. That's right. We're going to finish up uh, the north for now, and then we're going to move on to the south tomorrow. But I figure let's get the Bears out of the way because... They got, they got some problems. They got some problems. We're going to take a look at the roster. We're going to kind of try to come up with a draft strategy. I think this one's a bit difficult with the Bears, uh, given our limitations with what we can do. And then we're going to try to uh, have a uh, execute a good mock draft for them. But go ahead, become a bro and subscribe. Leave that thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Helps the video out a ton. So that's much appreciated. Remember, you don't have to agree with me to throw the thumbs up. You just have to enjoy the video, enjoy the different point of view. I don't know why I have to explain that. Some people, man. Oh, yeah, I disagree with that. But gosh, that was entertaining. Thumbs down. Uh, go ahead. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Indulge in the nice football discourse we got going on down there. Let me know how you would do things different. We're going to switch over. Take a look at the roster. I'm only allowed one trade in this... Um, in this mock draft and i can't seek it out it's got to be offered to me so again those limitations because i totally would be trying to trade up to that four spot uh i think it's totally worth it for the bears but then again ryan ryan pace kind of trying to save his job uh so drafting the quarterback for tomorrow probably doesn't do that uh yeah man uh you will see code broshmo up here it's just uh that is for walkofthemock.com. You can become a premium member or uh, a premium member or you, uh, oh. <laughs> words. They're so tough. You can become a premium member for the month or you can do it for the whole year using code BROSHMO. Gets you 20% off of that. What Walk the Mock is, it's a live draft similar where you get to draft against real people in real time. You can come check out one of my streams where I draft against some of the viewers. If you want to be a part of that, that's an easy way to be a part of that. So, be a part of it. Use code BROSHMO, all caps. All right. So, obviously, the red rifle, the red rocket, the the red scare on this roster is Andy Dalton. I mean, Andy Dalton, I still think, is a, he's an okay starter. If anything, he's a bridge quarterback at this point. Fortunately, there's you don't know what you're bridging to. That's the problem. Mac Jones, it'd be nice if he – like, I'm not moving up if I'm the Bears. There's no way. There's no way. You're giving up too much. I think it's just maybe you're in this situation where you try to trade for a quarterback. You just sign one next year in free agency. Or maybe you are in position next season to draft a quarterback. Uh, by then, probably Ryan Pace is gone. Maybe it's a new new regime altogether. But it's likely going to be a different quarterback. So quarterback's probably not the position we're going to go. Uh, maybe late in the draft, later on, maybe in that – like third round, probably the best uh, option if there are guys there. Uh, I think we can improve the tackle position. Obviously, that might be something we target early because this is a very tackle rich draft. And then, uh, like looking at this, I won't mind grabbing another receiver, but it's a re we can grab receiver somewhere on day three. Uh, depending, I don't think Allen Robinson will be back, but it'll be interesting if he is. Uh, looking at the defense, uh, I would love a corner. I would love a safety. One of those two. That might be one of the two. That might be one of our targets. And I think, uh, if there's no quarterback in the third, we could target a safety in the third. We could probably target a corner in the second. Uh, we could also try to look for someone to replace Hakeem, Hakeem Nix or Hakeem Hicks since, um, they allowed him to seek a trade, I believe. Uh, I can't remember. It's been like all of a month. So uh, maybe not even that long, like a couple of weeks. Wow. But yeah, that's kind of probably my plan. I'm not going to lie. It's probably going to go tackle corner quarterback safety in the third. Uh, even trading down is a bit difficult. So we'll see what happens with that. Because I don't want to trade down too far and lose value or lose who I want to get. But let's go in. Let's go ahead and let's get in. Uh, let, let me check how many picks we have here just so I'm not going in completely ignorant. We got a first, a second, a third, then a fifth, and a lot of six. Wow. Ugh. Yeah, you know these picks ain't going to help nobody. 
so maybe trading back isn't so bad but we'll see we'll see what's available to us let's go ahead let's start this sucker why am i going to that i'm going to this haha -ha. you know there's no way san fran trades up uh, or yeah there's no way san fran trades for um there's no way san fran trades uh trade it up for penny soul there we go try and complete my thoughts and oh man i'm having a tough time two fifths Ugh. it's not sexy all that's much much sexier um may i counter offer to see who is on the board mac jones is so hard to pass up at this point it's just like i just i just don't know I don't know if that's really something we like they do. Jeremiah was a cool more though is a very intriguing option. Especially since Washington took Tevin Jenkins, who I kinda wanted. Uh JOK could be a slot, uh could be a box safety. He a very, very versatile chess piece. Um uh, let me just check the corners, see who's there. I mean, all right, so hands down, if we trade back, Mac Jones isn't there. That's just how it is. I mean, we pick up some picks. Uh, but that's not how Ryan Pace saves him his job. I mean, I feel like if you're Ryan Pace how you save your job is you pick up mac jones and you hope mac jones beats andy dalton i mean you kind of look like a jerk you kind of look like yeah you kind of look like a big big jerk signing andy dalton tell him he's gonna be a starter and then bring in mac jones and then hope mac jones wins out and can get y'all wins because that potentially can save your job I mean, being real, that that is a possibility. That that might be the most likely scenario. Trying to save, like Ryan Pace, trying to save his job with Mac Jones. I mean, that I wouldn't do that though. I might just take the trade back. Uh, yeah, I think I I personally would take the trade back. Picking up a third, and a fourth, especially since they don't have a fourth. Yeah, but there's no way they I think Ryan Pace does this. I really think this is this is a move he would do though. That's really that's the only way you save your job. If it looks like you came across the quarterback of the future, that's the only way you save your job in Chicago because there's no way Andy Dalton leads you. He might lead you to an 8 and 8 season. Y'all been like the Bears have been stuck in 8 and 8 like purgatory forever. Then again, with 17 games, no one's going 8-8 eight and eight anymore. Well, this is 8-8-1. Eight and eight and one. Ah, we get to trade down. It's for one pick, though. Again, these, these guys... Yeah, that, this is the worst thing is like... You know, uh, you know, at this point, no one's trading up. No one's... Yeah, no one's trying to... You're not going to get good draft capital that way uh walker little really seems like a nice pick here um looking at my tackle board I i'm a big fan of walker little jackson carmen would be pretty sick too uh bray christensen you could include there uh talked about getting corner and really a sign of samuel is not a bad option um Richard Grant gives you a lot of versatility. I'm sure Eddie Jackson would love that. Especially, there's no way Deion Bush is there, ends up being their starter, man. He's like a special teamer for life. But that literally means if I go Richie Grant, I'm... Um, not going Samuel and Little really means I'm not staying true to my board. And I'm kind of reaching for a need, though I like the fit of the need. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, what do we work? What are we working with in the third round in terms of tackles? They're all developmental. Walker Little probably could be a start now. The guys had two seasons to rest, so. And this is a pretty safety rich draft, at least for the next two rounds. So. There we go. There we go. We did it. So, protection, like, yeah, I think this is, a, if you're Ryan Pace, this is a good draft because, all right, we grab some protection. Like, as long as our line stays healthy, it should be about average. And you really, you really, really, really hope that, uh, so they want to take my fifth and my sixth. But I get a fourth out of it. That's not bad, actually. Because, what, we had four six rounders. And we're basically turning our fifth into a fourth. And we're trading back three spots. I'll take that. That's our one trade. Oh, we traded up. My bad. Wait, what did I do? Just want to make sure what picks I have now. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. So we traded up three, which isn't bad. Let's see the... Uh... Oh, Kelvin Joseph being here. That might be it right there. That might be it. Uh, I do want to look at safety real quick, though. Uh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm, like, I really like the, safe, like the safety class. Uh, I don't think it's nearly, like, it's not top-heavy. By any means, but during those middle rounds, there's some quality prospects around. Uh, interior Wilson, like the, there's some guys maybe are around in the fourth for us, but what our fourth is like way down there. Um, there's good receivers on the board. It's good interior. Uh, yeah, I think we have to go corner, though. Uh, Kelvin Joseph is actually really good value in the third. I don't know why I hit that. Let's resume draft. Uh, let's see. All right, man. Uh, Walker Little, Kelvin Joseph, Mac Jones. This real this really feels like we're trying to save a job. Sorry, I took my one trade. Oh dang. They did they really did me dirty like that. Uh I kinda wanted Derek Forrest. He's got a little versatility to him as well. Uh, Austin Watkins, I kind of like this option. Uh, but I'm afraid I might have to go Tommy Togiai. Big Sean boy to get in that rotation down low. Uh, dude was a menace. Just hasn't played more than 300 snaps in a season. Uh, like, And I, I really think Tony Pelotu potentially can play on a 3-4 front, but probably not likely still rather like both these guys in um four threes actually it might benefit to fail to be a three four end it might uh austin Watkins. like i said austin Watkins would be a fine option here uh, i don't know what this says i addressed quarterback why are you telling me i didn't get i mean addressed both those needs like austin Watkins, getting a bigger receiver to pair up uh because if they do move on from um um oh my goodness what's your name they do move on from like a landon um not landon alan robinson there we go man my mind's just not in it right now then it's it it kind of helps i don't think they have pretty i don't think they have a good size at receiver like without alan robinson not like he's even a that big of a receiver like what is alan robinson like i want to say like six two 
maybe even bigger than maybe even smaller than that actually six three okay yeah because what anthony miller isn't that big either 511 yeah and then darnell mooney is closer to like maybe 510 59 Five, he's 5'11? Five oh, man. Interesting. I didn't know. I, I thought he was a bit smaller than that. Just probably because he's like 175. So. Uh, where's my pick at, yo? Was that our. Do we, well, I guess that was our fourth. So, yeah. We don't have a fifth. So, we're going to the sixth. We get three six round picks. So, that's fine. Don't know what'll be left for us there. But, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm sure we'll get some sort of value. I mean, now we're just drafting guys we hope work out. I think the all these guys could be starters sometime in 2021. Uh, all right, here comes our first third rounder. Or sixth rounder. Jeez. There goes Pro Wells. I've never been I haven't been able to draft Pro Wells. I kind of like him later on in the draft. All right, cool. Austin Watkins is there. That's wild. I actually participated in like this Discord mock draft, uh, and I I was able to get Austin Watkins in the sixth round. So re realistically, this cat can fall. So I'm gonna take that. I think Austin Watkins though. He's only uh, let me see it. Oh, jeez, I had it. Okay, he's six four. He does got no. That's Fahoko. I'm pretty sure Austin Watkins is like six two. Oh, I guess I could look at it now, but it's too late. 6-3, okay. All right, uh, we, we legit are gra drafting for value. Do I not have an... I thought I had three. 28, did I pass it? Oh, wow, I did, okay. Okay, well, that's nice to know. All right. Um, I really do like Chris Brown. More of a split safety. Um, he does have a lot of versatility. Yeah, I'm probably a lot higher on him than I am most of the NFL, though. Yeah, I like Chris Brown. He's... Oof. Let me adjust my little chair pad floor thing. It's all messed up. Wild Goose is an interesting option here, but I don't. Th I mean, he he played predominantly in his own scheme. <laughs> yeah, I think we've done we've done good. Um, Jonathan Marshall's interesting. So is Chris Rumpf. He could be like a pass rusher you build for later. Uh, let's look at the... Uh, I mean, what exactly are we looking for, though? I don't mind taking Chris Rumpf. Like, he's an interesting off-ball option. It's just I don't want... Like, he put on... I think at his pro day, it was like 244. But I think you gotta give this time to de this guy time to develop, gain mass, because he could be. I think he can definitely be a dangerous uh, pass rusher. Yeah, dude, he's great value in the six. Why am I even thinking about that? So that's our draft. I think I did good. I think I did the right thing. <laughs> uh, Mac Jones. I feel like this is that's the pick that Ryan Pace has to to save his job. Um, Walker Little is a solid pick, especially since we what we didn't trade down from there. We trade down to, or we trade up to get Kelvin Joseph and ended up pulling a fourth rounder out of it. Actually, All right, let's check out the trade because they trade back, get Hudson Jones and Anthony Schwartz. That's interesting. We got Joseph and Togiai, so we really addressed the defense with that. Um, this is. 
for the most part, actually, it looks it looks pretty fair. Uh, but yeah, Toya, I think you could throw in the rotation immediately. Uh, but they have some good players there too. Um, with Eddie Go uh, Goldman, oh, I guess they have one good player in that rotation there. Uh, let's see, Watkins, I think is just that's just good value in the six. Chris Brown. Chris Rump, I think all three of those guys are exceptional value. But let me know which, how you would do this in the comment section below. And uh, until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later. Later.